Welcome. In front of me is a OnePlus 10 Pro, and today I will show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this phone. Now clearly you can see right now that the device I have right here is locked, so I can unlock it using the previously I utilized pattern, or if I close this, it will also tell me to, to use a Google as a verification method. So, assuming we don't know either of those, we will now go back to language selection just simply go back uh, now before you actually begin uh, i do recommend or not recommend but it is required to connect to your wi-fi and as you can see right here i am connected so make sure you are connected from there uh, we can go back select next no not next Let's see where is this page Back on. Okay. Welcome to talk back. Welcome to talk. Close. Close tutorial. You can come back. Close. Set up wizard. Navigate up. Button. Double tap to activate. Press and turn on talk back shortcut. Holding. Don't. Set up wizard. Oh, come on. Speech rate. Swipe up or swipe down to adjust the setting. Accessibility volume set to six. Set up wizard. Hello. Accessibility volume oh, set to six. Oh goodness! Come on. Vision. Set up with select. Tap to disable. Talk back off. Okay, there we go. Uh, so needed a moment to actually uh, kind of get this off. Uh, the process is a little bit different than if you have a link in a description and the description is shown to, sh to basically tap on the accessibility menu button in a language selection which you can clearly see we don't have that because we have language selection right here. So it looks a little bit different. So we're going to get started by selecting vision settings and then uh, select to speak. I will mute it because it's absolutely annoying. So once you have this page visible, uh, what you want to do is draw a uh, mirrored L. So we're going to do like guess, this. So let's do that. It will show up with this kind of screen right over here. So before I actually get any further with this, I will uh, kind of point out one thing. Once we enable this, um, or not this, but the next one that will appear. So let's select the first option while using this up. So once you see this, uh, you want to select use voice commands. And when you tap on it, you tap once to select it and then double tap it to confirm it. It will turn on a microphone and it will be, I think, visible somewhere here that it is uh, the phone is listening to you. That's kind of the purpose of this option. And what you want to say is open Google Assistant. So you're going to do that. And I am unclear. I guess I'll find out in a second. Once it opens up Google Assistant, you will want to say open YouTube. Now, I'm not exactly sure if it's going to be listening to us right away or if we need to press a button. But like I said, that is something that uh, I will figure out in a second. I know that once I press this button, it listens to me instantly. So I will need to say that right away. Open Google Assistant. So I'm going to do that right now. So it's already selected. So I just need to double click it to confirm it. Open Google Assistant. Open YouTube. Opening YouTube. Okay, so as you've seen, I did actually need to say both of those things immediately after. So one after another, it opens up the little overlay right here, YouTube or Google starts listening to me and then you need to say open YouTube. And this obviously opens up YouTube. Now in here, we will want to uh, turn off the talkback. So we're gonna hold volume up and volume down. Hopefully this time it will work. Uh, not what I want. I'm try to grab this phone and just do it in my hand. Nope, not what I want. 
So... From what I remember, when I held these keys at the beginning, I selected, uh, I think, don't use or something like that. The option that was on the left side, it was the wrong option. Uh, and now, for some reason, I can't turn off the uh, talkback. So make sure you press the other uh, uh, other one, so on the right side, to suspend the talkback. So you can actually utilize the, the screen normally. I will be stuck with the most annoying one, which is I will need to do everything by tapping and double tapping on it and then using two fingers to just get stuff done. So that's fun. So bear with me when I'm trying to do this. Uh, normally, once you hold those keys and turn off talk back, you should be golden. But obviously, as you can see, I need to just go through a massive pain here. So anyway. Once you open up uh, the YouTube and navigate into the account, which I think I did, I'm gonna go back just because I don't actually remember. So yeah, select the account. From here, we're gonna select settings. And from here, about. And then Google privacy policy. From here, you wanna choose accept and continue. And no thanks. And this will open up the browser. And in here, we're gonna tap right here at the top so we can type in uh, our address, which is going to be hardreset.info slash bypass. Oh. Oops, not it. There we go. So if we need a moment to write this link down, uh, do pause the video. I will progress right now. So select enter. And this will take us to the site right here. Let's select consent right here. And you want to scroll down to Google, uh, not Google, but the setting application. Click on it. And in the settings, you want to now navigate down to, I believe it's going to be system settings. There we go, system settings. Scroll down, choose backup and reset. And then select reset phone, erase all data and erase data. Oh, I guess there are once more. And this will now begin the process of factory resetting our device. Now on here, uh, factory resetting our device through settings uh, result in the device basically being fully unlocked. So once it goes through it, we will be back in the setup screen. But at that point, the device will be fully unlocked so you can set up the device however you like. Now I will go through a quick setup, skipping as much as, uh, of the things as I can just to save a little bit on time and so we can see that the device is no longer locked. But to be completely honest, once you select erase data uh, and it's doing right what it's doing right now, the process is virtually finished. So if you don't care for the actual like proof, you don't need to keep on watching. Uh, if you want to just see it, how it goes, uh, go right ahead and stick along. Okay, so as you can see, factory reset has just finished and I'll quickly just go through it. So go agree, skip. First thing that you'll see, uh, we can now set up the device in offline mode. So that's already a good sign. Obviously, if the device is locked, you can't really set it up without connecting to a network just because it needs to check who was previously logged into it. And there we go. As you can see, I just went through the entire setup. There was no need to verify anything. The device is fully unlocked. And that was the way you could just bypass the Google verification on this phone. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.